In breaking news overnight, Australian academic Kylie Moore Gilbert has been freed from prison in Iran after 804 days behind bars. The Australian government has confirmed the news this morning. Earlier, Iranian state media broadcast this video of the Australian wearing a grey hijab and a mask. It says she's been released in exchange for three Iranian prisoners held overseas. Kylie Moore Gilbert is a lecturer in Middle Eastern studies at Melbourne University and a dual Australian and British citizen. She was sentenced in 2018 to 10 years on espionage charges, which she denies. For more, we spoke a little bit earlier to our Middle East correspondent, Eric Torchek. At the moment, we know what the Iranian government is saying, which is that, uh, the, that Kylie Moore Gilbert was exchanged uh, for three Iranians held overseas. Iran says that they were held uh, for trying to circumvent United States sanctions uh, and that they've been released now in, in what it calls, you know, something a, a just decision. But it does seem from some reports that two of the men were actually prisoners jailed uh, in Thailand for terrorism offences as part of a plot uh, to kill Israeli diplomats. Um, so one of the men is in a wheelchair, missing both of his legs, and it's likely he's, he's a man who was jailed after uh, a bomb he was holding uh, to throw at police detonated and injured him. Uh, so uh, this is, if, if this is confirmed, it's, it's really extraordinary, uh, the fact that the Thai government uh, agreed to release uh, these prisoners uh, in exchange for securing mm. Dr Moore Gilbert's release to Australia. So lots more detail to come out about that release. Noor Hader joins us now from Parliament House. Noor, uh, what's Canberra had to say about this this morning? Yeah, good morning. The Foreign Minister Maurice Payne has expressed relief while confirming that Dr Kylie Moore Gilbert has been released from prison in Iran. She, of course, spent two years in one of Iran's most notorious prisons. Uh, she, overnight, Iranian state media began reporting that she was uh, released reportedly in exchange for three Iranians being held abroad. The Australian government has not commented on that element of the story. Maurice Payne only saying that her release was achieved through diplomatic engagement with the Iranian government. Now, Miss Moore Gilbert was a lecturer in Middle Eastern studies at Melbourne University. She was, uh, she travelled to Iran back in 2018 for a conference and on her way back home, she was detained at Tehran airport. She was then charged with espionage and convicted to 10 years, or sentenced rather, to 10 years in prison. Um, in a statement this morning, Maurice Payne said that she was extremely pleased and relieved to advise that she had been released and will soon be reunited with her family. She says that the Australian government has consistently rejected the grounds on which the Iranian government arrested, detained and convicted Dr Moore Gilbert. Senator Payne also thanked officials uh, for their work resolving this uh, dispute, which she described as a complex and sensitive consular case. And she says that Dr Moore Gilbert has asked for privacy at this time. Over recent months, her friends and colleagues here in Australia and right around the world uh, launched a campaign to raise awareness about her plight and to place international press pressure on the Iranian government to release her. Uh, one of those groups has released a statement responding to news of her release, saying that they are uh, over the moon, that she has uh, she's on her way home after 804 days in prison. They say that this should never have happened to her. They've always believed that she was innocent and they say that Iran held her as a hostage. Her friends never forgot her. Noor, thanks very much for that.